age 10 turning on the television watching the fuse channel which had these like rock music videos it was the alternative to music to mtv i remember seeing the music video to almost easy by avenge sevenfold and i was blown away that is when i knew what kind of music i liked what kind of style i liked what kind of look i liked and more probably most importantly what kind of guitar i liked because in that music video i saw this thing this incredible, cool, slick instrument held by an incredibly cool and slick guy. So I think it was a week later, um, I go to a guitar center because I want to play guitar immediately after watching that video. I was like, I, that's what I need to do. Um, go into a guitar center and see on a rack one of these. It wasn't this exact model. It was the one with the double invader pickups. But I saw it there, and at that point there was some sort of like aha moment in my 10 year old head. Like, wow, that thing that I saw that seemed magical, I can get it. I can acquire it. It's within my grasp. And um, that was an awesome feeling. I didn't have $1,300 back then when I was 10 years old. Um, I brought my mom and she got me a $150 Epiphone Les Paul Special with the dot inlays. Um, and I never got this guitar until very recently. I went to Dave's Guitar Shop in Milwaukee intending to buy a bass, a second bass. And I really wasn't expecting to see a Schecter Sinister Gates Custom S on the rack there. Um, there was a pretty good deal on it because this was secondhand and Dave buys a lot of secondhand guitars. So I got it and now I have it. I have my dream guitar. I have the thing that got me to want to play guitar that influenced all of my, my, my musical trajectory since then. And it's a really wild experience. It's cool. I have the thing that I always wanted. It's in my possession. And yeah, I don't know, that's, that's, that's what guitar collecting is about for me. It's about all the things that I used to admire and um, playing around with them and having fun with them. So with that in mind, I wanna review it and let you guys know what my opinions are on this specific instrument. So far, I really like it. I've been playing it more than anything else. I have it in drop, or er, in standard E tuning right now and um, let me walk you through some of the features the first thing that I want to mention is the ultra thin C neck you usually come across slim taper or slim C this is ultra slim C and it really isn't an exaggeration this is the thinnest the smallest the most toothpick like um, guitar neck that I've ever played with you have this awesome headstock, the iconic headstock. You have uh, the classic Sin um, and the, the um, skull bat there. It's a really, really thin neck. It's so fast and I really enjoy it. I don't have any trouble um, grabbing cords or anything like that. It's actually all quite easy. So yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the neck. Um, on the side, you have these dot markers they're a little bit bigger than the average dot marker and they're completely glow in the dark like very nicely reliably glow in the dark and i like the big size because they'll stand out on stage or wherever you're playing in the dark moving down here you have a sustainiac in the neck position and you have the signature humbucker in the bridge position it's not an invader it's a sinister gates signature 
humbucker. You have a three-way switch between the neck combination and just the bridge, volume, um, tone, and then you have these two little switches, these two little buttons. Um, there are a lot of variations on the Schecter Sinister Gates custom. Not all of them come with the Sustainiac. I really, really am having fun with the Sustainiac. Let me show you what it does. So without it, you have a normal average, um, normal, normal guitar. And as you can expect, notes eventually die out. Still kind of going it's great sustain um there the note is dead now when you turn on this little switch it's a cool cool system and how i figure it works i'm really trying to wrap my head around it is I believe there is a little system in here that propagates pressure onto the string and keeps the string vibrating. So. Super cool the notes will just go on forever. When you flip it to the bottom, here's the Sustainiac turn off and on, and here is the specific controls for the Sustainiac. The bottom one is just a normal fundamental harmonic. It keeps it at whatever the standard frequency is, so that's what you just heard. We put it in the middle, it said on the website it's a mix. <laughs> Hard to tell the difference between the mix and the top one, which is the harmonic. Um, harmonics are hard to explain, but if you ever tried to get a pinch harmonic, basically what you're doing is that, but on steroids, and you're keeping it on forever. Super cool. I really like this function. I'm having a lot of fun with it when you combine it with the Floyd Rose tremolo because you can go really high and really low. You can get some really interesting sounds out of this. So I think overall this guitar offers a lot. You can have a lot of fun with it. And my initial hesitation when I saw it when I was getting back into, when I was starting and collecting guitars, why I chose not to get this and get something like a Gibson Les Paul or a Fender American Stratocaster was, I was afraid that this would be too constrained to metal, to just heavy metal, and it would be a one trick pony. I couldn't do all the things that I wanted to do with a guitar, which is branch out and play a lot of different styles. I wanted a guitar that could do a lot of different things. So my fear was that this was too constrained to metal. And what I found is that is not at all the case. Yes, it looks like metal, and aesthetically it might be a little bit constraining because it has sinister gates name on it but when you look at it as a music making instrument maybe you just take it into the studio or jam sessions and don't worry about the appearances you'll find that this guitar can do a lot <laughs> it can do quite a lot the harmonics in the sustainiac are great for solos and keeping that going you can create a lot of different cool tamarello sounds <laughs> Apart from the Sustainiac, I think that the guitar itself offers a lot of different functions. When you go to the neck position, I'm pretty sure it's a single coil because it sounds kind of stratty. And when I roll down the the tone like halfway, turn down the volume a little bit. It's 
got a really nice nice stratty tone i like it a lot it's it's a really um it's cool it's a strat in a heavy metal machine or a metal core machine whatever you want to call it and i appreciate that that's cool i don't mind i don't view that as a negative at all because when i want that humbucking juiciness and just to chug i just go to the bridge position But um, when I don't want to do that, when I want to do some other stuff. Even if you want to do like more basic classic rock kind of stuff, this thing can absolutely scratch that itch for you. Yeah, so overall, it's a great instrument. I have absolutely no qualms with it. It's pretty comfortable. I like the horn right here. I like the contour of the body. It's really comfortable. Um, it is the. It does require um, a nine volt battery to keep it going, like the other active pickups that I've shown you. So that is something that worth considering replacing those nine volt batteries. I'm more and more with every guitar I approach, I think that active electronics are a huge bonus in my book. I think that's one of the biggest grabbing points. Um, but lastly, I'll just talk about the Floyd Rose system since maybe not a lot of people know about it. Why is it different than a regular tremolo system? Um, here's, here's the bridge up close. It's got all that Floyd Rose stuff. And the most distinctive part is the locking nut right there that locking mechanism and i don't know in detail i i'm probably not describing this accurately but my understanding is that this is here locking in the strings at a very specific um at a very specific like point and what's going on over here doesn't really matter because this lock this nut is locking it down and what you have is a kind of symmetry between the top and the bottom to maintain string tension when that string tension um, is altered. Supposedly, it always goes back to its original point, which maintains tuning. Um, it'll always stay in tune. And it also offers the ability to, to bend up and down, which is a huge um, benefit. And the last thing is that it makes string bends really, really nice. It's nice. It's nice to have that bending ability. It's super comfortable. It helps a lot. So this is a really long-winded video, but I wanted to talk about all the features and all the things that I like about the Schechter Custom S Sinister Gates model, the thing that really inspired me to play guitar. It's awesome. I'm happy. I'm super happy. And I'm playing the hell out of it. It's, it's nice. It looks really nice. It feels really good. I wouldn't get this if you like a big round C-shaped neck, because this is probably the thinnest neck that you'll ever encounter. Um, but apart from that, if you can if you can wrap your head around it, yeah, I get this, man. It's it's a fun guitar. It's a really fun guitar, and it's unique. It does something that none of my other guitars do, which has this Sustaniac feature, which is proprietary to Schechter um, guitars. There are other different guitars that have a sustainer built into them, but it's just not Sustaniac. So thanks, guys. Let me know what you think. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks.